Hi, this is Robin Heppel, and welcome to another edition of Funeral Website Q&A. Don't get your website questions avoided. Get them answered at FuneralFuturesWebsites.com. And today's question is, do you have any new ideas for making more sales online? Well, I sure do. You came to the right place. First of all, we have to remember not to always try to sell them the latest or the newest thing. There's so many things that get introduced into the funeral industry. And you have to remember that the people that we're dealing with, the people who are going to be taking out their credit cards and purchasing something, it's going to be very hard to, to actually promote, educate, and actually get them to take action on something that they've probably never ever seen before. So I try to take a look at this from more of a, con a convenient standpoint. What have they done? What is a buying pattern or buying behavior that they've done in the past? And maybe you can just make that more convenient for them. The first thing that comes to my mind is flowers. People have been buying flowers for over 50 years or more. And for people to actually buy flowers or even buy gifts or even send comfort food or sympathy food to the family. Those are things that have been done before in the past. And by offering those services online, you're not having to create a new buying behavior or buying pattern. This is a buying behavior that they, that people, that society already has. You don't have to educate them on buying flowers. So if you make it very convenient for them, making it right there, you're actually helping them out. So how I would do this on your website, you do have to be very subtle about it, but two things. Close to the obituary notice, maybe on the same page, maybe in the sidebar, that there is just an option for them to look at flower options. The other thing is once they fill out the condolence form and they submit it, they then go to a new page and that page says return back to Mrs. Smith's obituary and condolences. Click here to send her flowers and maybe another option if you're going to introduce some other types of services. But if they're going to be thinking about sending flowers, and you've made it that simple for them. You've just done them a favor by allowing them to share their condolences with the family effortlessly. Why not have them order flowers through you effortlessly again? And the third thing is, is what I call how to virally market your website through the obituaries. And I won't go into detail in it here because I have a, a long uh, tutorial about that. Just go to Google and search Funeral Viral Marketing and you'll find the video about that. But in a nutshell, what it is, is that after the arrangements, you have the obituary notice from the family. They've approved it. You upload it to, the, to your website. You send them an email, a very brief email saying, I just want to let you know that I've uploaded your father's obituary notice to our website. Since the notice won't be in the paper for a couple of days, why don't you forward this email to them to notify them of the service times? Well, that family, you've just done that family a favor, and now they're going to send it to the exact people who are most likely to purchase flowers. But for more information on that, search Funeral Viral Marketing. For more information about funeral home websites, visit www.funeralfuturestwebsites.com. And for more information about funeral home marketing, visit funeralfuturestmarketing.com. And if you have any questions, please email them to me at questions at funeralfuturest.com. This is Robin Heppel.